everybody. I am sitting out on my front porch right now. Um, it's Sunday morning. As you can see, I had like a really gentle start to the day. I did my devotions, went for a walk on the canal. I'm just processing everything that's going on in our world, which is a lot. I just know that this time around, we gotta get it right. We can't in a couple weeks go back to life as is because we just continue the cycle. In order to break the cycle, something has to change. And I think part of that is us never letting up and making sure that kindness truly means that there is justice and equality for everyone as well. And I think we stand here in 2020 and we have not come as far as some of us would like to believe we have and we still have lots of work to do. And I think part of that work is working a lot on yourself and addressing things that maybe you push down to the bottom of the surface um, and really owning some faults that you play in all of this. Um, and then just doing better. And collectively one person doing better doesn't make a difference, but when a lot of people do a little bit better, it makes a huge difference. So that's kind of where I'm at. So it's Sunday morning and it's a beautiful day. It is like mid to upper 50s right now. Um, it's supposed to be in the 60s and sunny. And I was trying to think of like, what can I do today to kind of like give myself some space, some quiet. Um, and one thing I've been really trying to do, which I don't have, which Steven's been blessed with is a green thumb. So today I'm gonna to spend a lot of time planting and cleaning up our front flower beds. We were going to hire someone to do it. And then I kind of made the decision that I wanted to find some joy in it and figure out how to do it. So I've been reading books on gardening um, and trying to educate myself about that realm of something that I've always told everyone that I'm really bad at, um, but I want to get better at it. So today I went to the greenhouse. I showed them what I was going for, which is, and it's not everyone's style. I want like a lush, low maintenance, full, like, English garden vibe like just like full and easy and ground covered and um, I know some people like it like very clean but like I really want that like grown in been there forever look so they helped me find some plants um, here I'll turn you guys around so you can this see this is round one um, and we have lots of plants and I'm just going to go ahead and start layering them in figuring them out their spacing all of that we also had lights installed so i have to be like cautious of all of the wires but um yeah i'm just going to start layering it in i thought i'd start with this patch here and then work my way down this side of the house um, realizing that these plants won't make it all that way however i thought this is a good round one and then we can always go back to the greenhouse because it is really close so yeah, I'm gonna start doing it and see how it goes. Yesterday, Steven was a gem and did all of the um, rototilling and tilled fertilizer into the soil. So now it's just about like filling the space, but I just wanted to feel lush. So like when you're out here having coffee, it just feels so inviting. And then this is down the other side. So I'm gonna start placing, I'm gonna listen to some music. I brought out my like little jam box speaker and I'm gonna listen to the new Lady Gaga album and just find some peace and um, kind of fill the space with something that's going to bring me a little bit more joy. I encourage you all to do the same. I just got done measuring like the distance that is recommended between each plant. I think once this gets really full, it'll look so good. So that kind of filled up this space. We are going to remulch, knowing that these will take a while to fill in. And then I started this side with some of our ground cover and some of our tall grasses. And then I just need to fill in from like that tall grass down with one more load of plants. All right, here is round two of plants. Um, I'm gonna start getting these placed as well. I just did a second trip to fill in the rest of this part of the lawn. The lawn, the front flower beds. I will do a little walking tour once we get it all in place. I got all the plants. Um, like set out. I want Steven to see them before I finalize them. But I use these plain scrapbooks all the time. And like I said, I'm just getting into gardening. I wanna learn more about it. So I'm designating one to gardening. Um, the way I use these is I have one for holiday decorating where I literally go around the house, take pictures of how I decorated and put them just in here very easily because there's they're just blank pages. And that way I can reference then exactly um, what I did in previous years and then I can go back and like redo the same thing if I want to or change it up and make notes of like what I liked, what I didn't. 
With gardening, because it's so new to me, I usually just throw these away because I buy them how I like, but then there's so much helpful information. I can look up more about a plant, if it's doing well, if it's not doing well, and what I can do to help. Also, people will ask you like what something is and you have no clue. So before I plant everything, I pulled one tag from every plant. Now I bought multiples of these, but I just made sure that I saved one of them. And I'm going to just tape, um, here I'll show you for this one. I'm just going to tape one side of it in this book. So I'm just gonna make it like look very even. And I'm just gonna tape it that way I can flip it up or read the underside of it. And I'm going to do that for all of these. I wipe them off really quick. Um, and I'm just going to take the time now to um, tape each of these in. I'm also going to write the date of which I planted them. And then I'm going to keep kind of like a little seasonal tracker, like what do I have to do in the fall to these? What do I have to do in the early winter, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then if someone comes and visits and they're like, hey, what plant is that? I can actually pull this and give them actual information that's helpful and not just tell them I don't know. So I'm just gonna tape all these in and then um, by that time, hopefully Steven gets here, I can show him how I have them laid out and then we can decide what to do next. So, all right friends, I also had to text Steven and told him I made a little mistake. I'll fill you guys in in a minute about that as well. Helpful tip, I just finished um, uh, putting all of these in. I'm also gonna measure all of them so I can like make sure like they're growing and how much they grew each year, etc. So uh, after we get them all planted, then I'll do the measuring, but I got all of the little tabs in. I can easily flip through them, research them, um, learn more about them. If they're doing really well, know that that's a plant that I can buy more of. So I have everything that I bought today and then my nursery also gives a warranty as well as instructions. Um, so I have my warranties in there, I have my receipts. So if I need to return something because it doesn't last, I have a year for all of my plants. So that is um, my little like gardening book. I'm gonna design like a little cover for it and make it really pretty, but um, yeah. So now I'll have this to reference it. I can take notes as I add things, I can add to it, um, yeah. I'm determined to get a green thumb because Steven already has one. But this has been a really nice distraction. I think getting out there and getting them into the ground once Steven likes where they're at um, will also feel really good. So if I get this on recording, he can't yell at me in front of all of you. So um, I'll tell you what happened. Is it the garage door? So no. It's right here. Oh please, I can't even see that. Um, no, but I also hurt my car. So, this is what hit. Well, you just get another windshield wiper part then. How did this happen? I took this out and dumped it, and when I went to close my hatch, it didn't uh -huh. go the whole way so this has a sensor so when it got to the bottom it lifted back up but I was getting in the car so I didn't know it when didn't did, close the whole way. Did this happened before you went to the nursery? No it, was, it happened right after I because I pulled up here again emptied out the plant so my hatch was open dumped this out in the driveway pressed my button so like think about how low it would get until the sensor went by that time I was already in my car and going. So I hit the top of the garage here. All right, well, get him inside and then come look at everything. Well, the good thing is, is that we um, walked over two miles and he's still smiling. I cried. See, Steven's the best. Even when you make mistakes, he's so calm about them all. This isn't worth crying over. It's a car. Well, I hit the house. I was expecting something. If you hadn't told me, I would never have seen it until probably a few weeks later. I would have been like, what happened to the garage? I was expecting when I turned the corner, a big black mark on the house. I can't even see it unless I go up and look. This is it. I mean, the worst part is just the car. But, what, I'm, what are you gonna do? I mean, I'll- order. I think in the scheme of the world, this is nothing. I mean, the country is falling apart right now. So I would be crying over. I think maybe that's why I cried. It's just that I'm emotionally 
drained. All right, let's get him all his treats and let's walk outside. I don't want to plant anything until we're both really happy with the placement of everything. What about him? He has no say, although he will not be doing any business out front for a while. 1.30 and I just finished planting. We will go out there in a little bit. Stephen is watering it. Um, he helped me plant a little bit of the ground cover. And I think, and I know I posted this over on Instagram, I think being surrounded by so much death, it was great to just pray and meditate and get your hands in the earth and like focus on bringing things back to life. Um, I found it really, really needed right now. Um, it's kind of a really beautiful moment and finding this place of like, just focusing on life and nurturing and growing things. And I think it was like a really good meditation for my soul today. Um, and I encourage you guys to try it. It really, it really felt needed. All right, so we don't have our mulch yet. It's coming this week. We're gonna be doing black mulch we decided on, but have all of these planted. I really love them. And then I finally got a lilac bush, so it'll, eventually it'll fill this whole space, um, which I'm really excited about. It's hard to get excited about the plants because I got things that will grow and like these three grasses will get so full and spread out, so I'm excited for that. Same with all this ground cover, like eventually these will all grow and connect. I think each one can get four feet, four to five feet by four to five feet, so they'll get enormous, they'll cover it, we'll keep it nice and edged, but I kind of just like no longer want to have to worry about mulch and just have this beautiful ground cover. This stuff also stays nice in the winter, um, so that's really exciting. And then these hosta will get really big in here. All of these will start flowering. These grasses will all fill in. And then, um, once again, filling all this in, I am going to go and buy a bunch of annuals for like color and fill in around here. Um, so there'll definitely be more color coming. These grasses will edge this out really nicely. And then all of these will get bigger too and just fill up the space. I might do some filling in there, but I'm really, really happy with everything. I'm also glad that I splurged on a little bit more mature plants so they were already bigger. And then on this edge, we have the two hydrangea bushes that will do really well there. Um, everything has been fertilized. We watered it really heavily, so we should be in good shape. Now just to mulch it, finish the edging, and then fill in with some colorful annuals. I think it's gonna look really, really good. I mean, it couldn't look any worse because it was looking really rough. So, this is what my heart needed today. It really was therapeutic and yeah, it was just exactly what I needed. I also used my little label maker really quick and just put like garden established 2020. Um, for all my little gardening things. I do have all the measurements on a post-it. I just need to like write those in. I haven't decided on dinner yet for Sunday. However, I have decided on having some champagne. Just because it's already chilled and you cannot let it go to waste. So one of my favorite things are these um, mini bottles of anyway. But what has made these a game changer is I bought these mini spouts for them and they fit down in and then you just drink it straight from here. This will be a little bit of joy. I was editing the vlog and I realized I talked a couple times about reading books about gardening because it's something I'm trying to learn about. And I thought I'd show you the three that I've been uh, really going through. This is Cut Flower Garden. This is just a beautiful book. It's about growing and harvesting and arranging flowers. Um, it's just a stunning book. Stunning. I love it. And it's so well written. This next one is Gardentopia. It's about like designing and creating the outdoor space and things to consider. And then this last one is Learn How to Garden. It's basically the encyclopedia for gardening. From like soil to prepping to pruning to to preparing for winter, all of the things. Like if you need to just know the facts, that's a great one. But these are three books that I've really, really been enjoying. I love this vlog. 
and it's simple, and it's exactly what I needed it to be. Today, there's been a lot of time to think. And I think the message I end these vlogs with all the time about round kindness, it's never been more timely or more needed. And my hope for all of us is that we realize that we are so much more similar and have so much more in common than we even realize because we don't take the time to truly see each other, um, to hear each other, to honor each other's experiences, how vastly different they are. And we all need to do better. And if you choose to do nothing, then you're part of the problem. And like I said earlier, if we all just do a little bit, collectively it will make a huge difference. So with that, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, my wonderful friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>